And you can see the question at the bottom, which political grouping or formations, coalition, whatever are you, that you're, uh, uh, you do feel closest to support. Azimio has the plurality. And remember, plurality means the largest number in a group of numbers, but less than 50% plus one or more. Um, at 38%, whereas just over a quarter, 28% identified with uh, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Had nearly a third who said they hadn't decided or don't identify with any, and Oka on its own received support of just 3%. Now, when we looked at these results um, in terms of political parties, we saw, not surprisingly, that almost all of our respondents who said that they feel close to uh, ODM, which as you saw in the previous uh, slide was 29%. Almost all of that 29%, 96% of them said they also support Azimio. And among the 25% of Kenyans who identified with, um, sorry, 29% who identified with UDA, 85% of them also identify with Kenya Kwanzaa. Why the gap of 11%? Why are people who support UDA less likely to support the larger coalition of which it is a part than are those who identify with ODM and support Azimio? Is it because more followers of UDA don't really see the need of that coalition? because until recently, the deputy president had said, we don't need to have uh, small uh, community-based political parties and so on. Are more of UDA supporters going to vote for what we call straight tickets or six piece? So they don't need to be interested in coalitions or other parties. Um, it's not a huge difference, but I think that gap of 11% is interesting.